The plastic is choking me. There's so much plastic. One of the things we have found um, with respect to the plastic pollution and our marine um, biodiversity is, for example, uh, one of the, the, the examples that I use which makes it easier is the turtle. So we have plastic bags which turtles often mistake for jellyfish. They eat it. What happens to them is that the plastic gets stuck inside them. It gives them the false feeling that they're full and so they might not feed or on the other hand they're hungry but because the plas their stomachs are jammed full of plastics they're very hungry but there's no space for the food to get down into their body the body cannot absorb the plastic and so they suffocate and die some other animals for example we've seen pictures of crabs with um, a bottle cap over their head or the rings from the cans the six pack of um, soda cans around um, some marine animals, therefore suffocating them. The birds, they are also suffocated because of the amount of plastics they consume from our beaches. Now, when people are coming here to snorkel and to dive, they're coming to look at what the marine environment has to offer. If our turtles die, because the turtles are known as the lawnmowers or the sheep of the reef, and so if the turtles are not keeping the reef free of all the algae, because that's what they usually consume besides the jellyfish, they keep it at a, a, a manageable level. If they are unable to eat or if the amount of turtles we have have lessened, and last year I got some really shocking information from one of our partners in the St. Kitts um, Destination Council. One of our partners which, um, is the think it's sea turtle monitoring network and what they pointed out to us is that they had a drastically low number of turtles coming to nest leatherbacks on saying it's last year as compared to 10 years previously now if you have less of these turtles available to keep our reefs clean the green and 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 the hawks bill it means that the reefs can become overrun if the reefs become overrun, then the young fish, because that's the nursery for the young fish, they would not have an opportunity to thrive, and so they'll die. So then our fish supply will be reduced. The variety of um, marine species, because if the turtles die out, then there are no turtles. You'll be pretty soon telling people, we used to have the species of turtles. Children will not know what you're talking about, because they would have died out. And so we have those issues where you kill the fish stock, you kill out um, some of the other animals within, within the marine environment. There's an overgrowth of algae, which is not natural, because there's a balance. Everything has a balance, and that, that is what sustainability is about. It's finding that balance between our people, our planet, and, our pro and, and livelihoods, which we call profits, right? And so if there's not that balance, things are going to be out of whack and there's gonna to have to be some adjustment. We also have the issues of coral bleaching. So then we have that issue. If there's coral bleaching, there's also no livelihood, no life in the reefs. Visitors are not gonna travel from their countries where they pay high amounts of money to come to our destination to visit a reef that has been bleached and that there's no life. People are coming to see things and so we have to ensure that we take care of these things. It might seem simple, but if each one of us does something, then it makes a big difference. And the, the, the production of plastics is increasing tremendously over the years since it, was first, um, since it was first brought into being, which was in the 1950s. Plastics are found everywhere. And so the, the, the major challenge, though, is not the, the plastic, because as Darian said, plastic was made to be durable but what we are having is that we are using something that was meant to last long for one time one time only and so that is where the problem comes in the chemicals are an issue the fact that we are using something that was intended to last hundreds of years for sometimes minutes that is where we're going to create um, problems in terms of our marine biodiversity and the ability for us because we do not have 
any other resources at the moment in St. Kitts in terms of natural resources outside of our people. And so the people have been in, in, um, introduced to tourism, but people are only going to travel to your destination if there's something for them to see and to experience. And if it's not good for us, the residents, then it cannot be good for visitors. The, the people are now monitoring things like that. Before they make decisions to travel to a destination, they're looking to see what you are doing for your own people. How you take care of your environment before they make a decision to um, take their hard-earned money to travel to your destination.